Hello everyone and welcome to another Taglish tutorial in trigonometry wherein we'll talk about the two basic forms of degree measure and how to convert each to the other. There are two basic forms of degree measure. The first is called decimal degrees. Halimbawa, 30.57 degrees. The second type is called degree minute second. Halimbawa, 23 degrees. 22 minutes and 19 seconds. Notice that I use apostrophe for the minute and double apostrophe for the seconds. At ang kailangan lang natin tandaan ay ito. 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Let's try converting each unit. In letter A, we need to convert this DMS value to decimal degrees. And to do that, all we need to do is to separate 30 degrees. Tapos, kailangan lang natin i-add yung mga decimal value ng 45 minutes at saka ng 19 seconds. Pero paano natin gagawin yun? Since ang basis natin ay degree, in 1 degree, there is 60 minutes. Kaya, i-divide ko yung 45 minutes sa 60 minutes. At, in 1 degree naman, there is 3,600 seconds. So, yun yung formula. Lagi nyo lang i-divide sa 60 yung minutes at 3,600 yung seconds ninyo. By using your calculator, you can divide this and add these terms for you to get 30.76 degrees rounded off to 2 decimal places. How about the conversion of decimal degrees to DMS? Okay, the first thing that we need to do here is to get 108 degrees. May una na tayong sagot. Okay? Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin ay kunin yung decimal value na natira, which is 0.3704. At multiply lang natin yan sa 60 minutes para makuha natin yung conversion niya sa minutes. Okay? Pag minultiply nyo yan using your calculator, you'll get 22.22. .22. Four. Okay? So, ang next step, kukunin nyo yung whole number na nakuha nyo dito at yun ang ilalagay natin dito na 22 minutes. Mapapansin ninyo na kukunin na natin ulit yung 224 na natira na decimal. At yung 224 na yan ay mumultiply lang natin sa 60 seconds. So, therefore, pag ginamit nyo yung calculator nyo, you'll get 13.44 seconds. At itong 13.44 na to ang ilalagay natin sa huli. Okay? So, the conversion of 108 degrees is 108 degrees, 22 minutes, and 13.44 seconds. Kaso, masyadong mahirap yung process na yun. If you are allowed to use calculator in the room or on doing your assignments, pwede namang ito ang gamitin ninyo. Tama? So, dito gagamit ako ng Casio Calculator pero available din ito sa mga ibang calculators like Sharp. Okay? So, ang pinakasikreto natin dito ay yung DMS key na nakikita nyo dito sa screen. So, kung ito yung gamit yung old model, nandito lang banda yung DMS na key. Pag ito naman, parehas lang din ang itsura. Okay? So, explore nyo yung calculator nyo ngayon at ide-demo ko sa inyo yung gamit nito. Okay, I'm using the latest model of Casio. Pero kahit sa mga previous models, pwede nyo gawin itong uh, pag-convert ng DMS to decimal degrees, vice versa. So first, I will teach you how to uh, convert the decimal uh, degrees into DMS format. Okay, so yung example natin kanina na ginamit natin ay yung 108.3704. Tama. So, usual na pag input natin ng values, ang gagawin ko ngayon ay lalagyan ko ng degrees using this key. So, pag prines ko yan, yan ang lilitaw sa calculator ninyo. By pressing equal sign or enter, lilitaw yung automatic na DMS format niya. Kung hindi naman, pwede rin naman na iselect nyo lang ito kung previous model ang gamit ninyo. So, tama yung conversion natin kanina. Ngayon, what if gusto kong ibalik into decimal degrees? Po, pwede. Kailangan nyo lang iselect ulit ito para maging 108.3704 decimal degrees ulit siya. But what if, balik ta rin natin. 
what if ga, ga, yung DMS ay gagawin nating decimal degrees. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay input again, yung 30 degrees, you select this key, 30 degrees, and then press 45, this key again, tapos i-select natin yung 19, eto ulit. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parang degrees lahat yan, pero yung uh, pag-re-read ng calculator dun sa second, which is 45, ay minutes. At yung 19 naman ay seconds ang reading ng calculator natin dyan. So, by pressing equal or enter, we will have this value. Pero hindi pa yun yung decimal degrees, di ba? Para ma-convert natin into decimal degrees, ito yung kailangan natin i-select. So, yan yung decimal degrees nung solution kanina. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong key na to ang sikreto. Okay? Pwede nyo nga uh, i-experiment dun sa mga previous calculators. Okay? So, I prepared some exercises that you could do on your calculator. You can pause the video before looking at the answer. That's all for this video. If you want more Taglish Math tutorials, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.